Hey guys, I wanted to do this video for you all that have the Brother Scan and Cut. I have found out that they did release the Scan and Cut Canvas uh, application. It's actually uh, an internet app, and so if you're on your computer, you can log into this website that I'm showing you right here, and it's free. Um, you just create an account and you're going to log in with your ID and password and I will do that and show you uh, what it does um, but basically if you have SBG files that are already stored on your computer from say other programs that you may use to cut files like say with your silhouette cameo you can take those SVG files and save it to a USB drive which looks like this um, and there is a plug on the right hand side of the scan and cut machine at the bottom close to where the um, electrical cord goes in uh, you plug this in there and you can pick the file that you saved to this drive to cut and I do have one that I have cut this was a free file that I downloaded from the internet from a website and I don't even remember what the website was now um, but I downloaded several of their files that were cut files that somebody created they were free so I downloaded them and saved them to my hard drive thinking I would cut them from my Cricut and I have actually cut some from my Cricut before it's just um, for me to set up my Cricut with my computer it's kind of a pain so I don't like to do it so let me show you um, what it looks I've like once you've logged to in. their website and the first screen you're going to see is any of your projects that are saved within the workspace and I have two actually this one comes by default when you log in for the first time it's a butterfly and then this one is the one that I have imported from a file that I had on my computer and of course you can create a new one if you want so I'm just going to open this one so I can show you um, what I've done. So all I've done, uh, I click on that left hand icon and it'll show you the image that I imported. So this is the SVG file I imported and all you have to do to do that is I believe it's under project and you can say import SVG FCM file and when it imports it, it puts it here on the mat. And again, you can resize this to whatever size you want, up to 12 inches, 12 by 12. And I have it somewhere around six and a quarter by six and a quarter. It's a square. And you can see that this this image is very, very, very detailed. It's a lattice, and that's one of the reasons why I picked this file because I wanted to see how well the machine actually cuts um, when it's very um, intricate design. So I did cut that shape out. Um, all you do is you download it to the hard drive as I said so you plug this uh, USB drive which you probably can't see very well because of the lighting. Um, let me see if I can get that better. Sorry guys. Um, you plug this into your computer, you download the file and then you take it over to your scan and cut and you load it up as per usual and then you can cut the actual image and I'm gonna show you what it looks like once it's cut or the result as of this item so let me turn the machine down here now this paper is regular basil cardstock and it was a 12 by 12 sheet and this is the resulting lattice that I got now most of the pieces just fell out. It wasn't very, it wasn't like they were stuck or anything like that. But you can see there are some spots where it kind of didn't cut through. And I don't know if it's the blade or it's the speed of the, the cut itself. I should maybe slow it down a little bit or do maybe um, more than one cut. But this is a result of that lattice being downloaded and cut by the scan and cut machine. So really what I wanted to let you know is that there is free software out there from Brother that lets you take any of your old SVG files 
and lets you import them into the software and you download them to a USB drive which you can take over to your scan and cut machine and just cut the file you know using whatever cardstock you would like and again this is just basil regular cardstock and it's a white one I just put it on the screen background so you could see what the cut looks like and you can notice that there's two spots here that didn't cut very well um, to me it wasn't that big of a deal because I'm probably going to use this as a card base like a background or something and um, it may be covered anyway so I can still use this piece even though all of the cuts didn't come out and you can see it's very sharp um, in terms of what was cut so I will put a link in the description box below to this website where you can register um, for the scan and cut software it's called scan and cut canvas and it is by brother and it works with your machine thanks for watching talk to you soon